Hello everyone, this is Sean Hendricks. I'm on the SIGGRAPH floor. I'm here with Doug Griffin from FaceShift, who's going to be showing us some of the technology that they're showing off here. They've got some really cool stuff. I stopped by as I was wandering through the show floor, and basically they've got a markerless face capture technology that they're showing off here at the show. And over the last little while, Autodesk has actually been working with them a little bit on some internal projects. Uh, many of you have heard of Hyperspace Madness, which we started off as a video game uh, prototype and demo, and we've now been moving into something much higher res. So why don't we get started? Doug, why don't you uh, just take us a little bit through uh, what your technology does and how it works? Yeah, I will. I'd love to. So I'll, I'll show you phase shift. The unusual thing about phase shift is it, it works uh, off two data sources. Uh, one is we have a video data source. You can see that on my screen. As I talk to the sensor, there's a video image. But what makes us different than everybody else, obviously you see there's no markers on my face as well. But the other data source that we're using is uh, surface data. So this is a dense 3D point crowd, cloud that we're using. Um, you can actually project that video right on to the, the, uh, the 3D data. And you can see that I can rotate around and see myself from a completely different angle. So that is our input data. There's no markers on the face. There's no prep you have to do. You can walk up and, and start using it right away. So it's kind of like a souped up connect kind of experience. It is. Actually, it uses a connect. We can use a connect. Um, the people who built the original connect is a company called PrimeSense in Israel. We happen to be using one of their newer sensors that just allows a tiny bit more control, uh, like exposure and white balance. Uh, but it's a $200 camera. We're not talking about a $100,000 to $200,000 mocap system. You can, you can buy this online directly from PrimeSense. You can get our software online. and. You could outfit your whole animation team for the cost of a very small mocap system. Well, that's what people yeah. like to hear in this industry these yeah. days. <laughs> um, so the, the process to use it is to train a model of uh, the performer who's going to be in front of it. So I'm going to actually delete the one that's in here now. I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what it looks like, and then I'll open up the pre-baked model uh, to save time. Uh, very easy to do. You simply hold a single expression. Hold down capture, and you end up with scan data of yourself. Now, we have about 25 different poses that you do. If you run through all of those, hit a little button, it will train our internal model to fit the scan data that you provided it um, and teach it a bunch of blend shapes about your face, so asymmetrical blend shapes of how your face can move. So you can see it's uh, deforming right now. And it's kind of that quick, except I would do about 25 poses right. to get started. But then once you've done the 25 poses, you're done for you, basically. You, you save a file. Here it is. I can load it in. And now every time I want to use it, I just load the file, step in front. I hope I didn't just save over that file. <laughs> let's see. Oh, you're... Uh, let's try this again. There we go. So here's the file. I load it in, and you're off to the races. And so you can do that with each actor or animator or rigger, whoever's going to use the, use the software one time, and you do it. There's a setup process I can show you in a minute on your characters as well. Um, once you've done this, it runs live. So if you look at my screen now, you'll see uh, the default version of myself. To show you how well um, some of the tracking is, I can actually plop that right over the top of my head. You can see that it gets the head tracking really well. It gets the eyes. And that, that's, um, that's all live. It's actually messing up on the eyes just a second, probably because of our light here. But um, you get an idea of how good the, the tracking is. Um, you could also uh, show this directly on a character in our application. You could take your character, bring him in, and set them up. Not many people do, but we have a couple demo characters in here to give you a, a quick glimpse of what that would look like. And I apologize for the eyes right now. I think that's yes, the light we have, that we're using. We have a very uh, bright LED light <laughs> yeah, exactly. blinding on you right you now. You do want sort of um, you, you do want a, a kind of diffuse lighting environment. You don't want to be using some uh, harsh side lighting in the hall. Harsh, harsh side lighting, and because the uh, the sensor that we use projects an infrared pattern, you don't want to use some stage lighting, 1K tungsten right. lights, and things like that as well. But um, you can see you get data right away. You can um, the the live data is pretty good, and a lot of people are totally happy with that. But you can also record a take. Just press that button, do whatever you want to do, hit stop. And now I've got this pre-recorded take, and I can come in and finesse it just a little bit. Right. 
So for instance, the, the recording live is literally recording live. I hit, I hit a single button in here and it looked back and forth across time to sort of figure out, oh, was that a blink or were you squinting, you know, and, right, and figure right. out the blend shape properly. Um, all of our blend shapes are um, displayed on the bottom right-hand corner. So we've got 47 output blend shapes. They were originally based on a fax system and then we kind of built it up from there and improved it. Um, but you can get you know, live feedback of any given blend shape and you can see the curve of it on the bottom as well. Um, so very, very simple to record animations. Um, very simple to stream them live. So we have a free plugin in Maya and you uh, set up your character. We got retargeting set up that I'll show you and you hit connect and you can stream it live right into Maya. Sweet. If, you're, uh, if your character's lightweight enough and will run live, a lot of people will just view it right there. It's a great rigging tool to evaluate whether your character shapes are correct or whether your controls are set up well. Um, and it's an awesome animator tool because you can do take after take after take to get the performance that you want. Right. Um, so let me show you a little bit of what we have in Maya. I'll just hide this. Um, so again, the, the plugin is free. You can actually download it from the App Exchange, my App Exchange website. Um, this is the character that we talked about earlier. So this is Sven from this Hyperspace Sven, Madness. And it's just a really, really cool character. And we worked um, with the guys at Maya and the guys at uh, CamD, Creature Arts and Mechanics Digital, who are some XILM, like amazing rigging guys, um, just to get this rigged up for SIGGRAPH so we could show it. Um, the process to use is, is quite easy. Um, we have our list of blend shapes over here on the left. And you can see our default character as I scroll through this, you simply um, hand over the controls, whatever moves your character in Maya, you turn that over to face shift. And then for each, and that can be control boxes on the face as an animator would use, it could be blend shapes, there's a, a number of options. And then for each one of our poses, you pose your character the same way. Go on to the next one, pose it the same way. So um, you're not really directly linking controls so much as just teaching the system, this is what you should do with the exactly. stuff in Maya when you do that. Yeah, so unlike transforms you would get from dots on someone's face in a mocap system that are completely different space right. than that character, um, we're looking at a zero to one value for each of our shapes and there's a zero to one value on your controller or your blend shape. It could be a hundred controls that are all being It moved. could, right. yeah, it can. And you don't even have to map all of ours. You can see some of these are red, we haven't even mapped those. Right. That's fine as well you map the ones that are important to your character. Um, once you've mapped them, again, you can save a file out, which is what we're looking at here. Um, you can turn on live streaming with a connect of a hit of a button, and you can see your character live. Sven's a bit too heavy for us to do live, right. um, but I have a, a pre-recorded take that I've dropped in here already, and uh, I think if I just hit play, you can, you can get an idea. So this was a take that I think we captured on me, and I spent maybe five minutes playing with in face shift right. to refine it. And we've outputted it, and no curves have been touched in Maya at all. So this is the raw face shift output. Um, I don't know the frame rate it's running at right now, uh, but we've got pre-rendered video as right. well, and it looks great. It really looks great. Originally, when we pulled up Sven, I was, um, I was kind of scared, quite honestly. We haven't done a lot of characters ourselves to try to put demo material together, and he's a quite hammed up right. character. His eyebrows just shoot really exactly. high. He's got some amazing expressions. And I was worried that um, any little movements you know, that we did would really overdrive the character quite a bit, but he looks fantastic. It worked out really well. I'm actually uh, yeah. when, I, when I first saw it, a couple of the guys at our office showed it to me, what you guys were doing with it. Uh -huh. I was actually pre pretty surprised with what you could do with you know, straight up Markerless mocap yeah. dumped straight onto the system. Was like, was, yeah, when awesome. we first had it over at CamD, they've got a little theater. I was working with uh, some of the best riggers in the world. And we were kind of setting up the shapes, and I set up the retargeting, and I turned it live. And I was just moving my face around, and, and Sven was moving. And they, these are guys who have been in the industry for 20 years, and they're just top-notch riggers. They got so excited, they invited their entire company in to see it live. And they were just like, oh, my god, this is great. So we're, we're happy with both the character and the integration into Maya and, and how quick and easy this is for people to do. And, and I should add, you know, the, the, uh, the form factor of the sensor and the price of the sensor, you know, having this right at your desk, it's an amazing tool. And um, you, can, you can get our software, 
um, right off our site. Mm -hmm. Our most Perfect. expensive, you know, top of the line software is only fifteen hundred dollars as an annual license, and it drops down with um, with quantity discounts as well. So you could you could get if you've got a ten person animation team, it's a thousand dollars a license, and you can do as much animation as you want. There's no per second charges, anything like that. You just run with it. Perfect. Well, yeah. thank, thank you very much, Doug. I yeah. appreciate uh, you letting us it's come a out pleasure. and talk to this. And again, everyone, please uh, check them out on the web. Take a look at the technology. Uh, it is truly impressive. I've been sitting here for a while now, and it is awesome just how flexible this thing seems to be. So please check it out, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Thanks.